and this tutorial I'll be telling you about sequences I'm sure everyone knows what a sequence is but in this one I'm going to be showing you basically after effect image sequences um, so let me show you this I will be adding this sequence to the description so you are able to follow along or it's nothing really to follow along I'm just showing you how to import the sequence God, this is annoying. Okay, I'm gonna come to images and sequence. Here you see that there's this picture, and that this ninja is coming in. Okay, and it's a lot of pictures. 87. Anyway, I'm going to exit that out, and I'm going to double click in the projects panel, and I'm going to click one image, not all, but one. Here you see JPEG sequence. You would like to leave it checked, okay, and press OK. It does not import a whole bunch of files, as you can see. It just imported, I mean, a whole bunch of images. It just imported this one file, but you see the name is a numeric sequence from 0000, 000 to 00087. And if you double click this and press the space bar, you would not even be able to tell it's a load of images. It looks like a movie, but it's a sequence of images. So press the space bar. Try that again. Doesn't it look cool? But like I said, it's a bunch of images, not a movie file. A image sequence is actually a good thing to use. Because if you have like 30, 40 gigs of movie clip, you wouldn't be able to send that on. I mean, yeah, send that as a few DVDs or whatnot. You have to put it on like a whole hard drive and send it to someone. When it's a bunch of image sequences, you can break it up to four gigs a piece and put it on DVD and send it. So much easier. Well, that's it for this tutorial. See you in the next tutorial. Rate, comment, subscribe. Bye.